This video is sponsored by Adobe. Are you ready? I am ready. Three minutes? Okay, here we go. Well, I'm not known for going short on things, but I do want to say that <laughs> what we have here is an image that I captured when I was free diving, and so I'm very far away from the hawksbill turtle. And so as a result, there's a ton of water in the way. And if you've ever shot underwater, you know that you, use, you lose all the familiar light first, all the yellows and the reds and so forth. So what I'm left with, if I switch to the channels panel, is a very bright green channel and a very bright blue channel and a very dark red channel. So obviously this is gonna take me forever to fix. And so I'm gonna go ahead and return to the layers panel and drop down to my black white icon. And I'll go ahead and choose the levels command and thank God that levels has an auto button that is gonna automatically fix every single image I have ever opened. And so what I'm gonna do is click on it and voila, it's totally better. <laughs> I see that, I see that. Fortunately, you can modify the behavior a little bit by pressing the ever so obvious option or alt key, clicking on auto and selecting enhanced per channel contrast, turning on snap neutral midtones, clicking okay, saying I've got too much green, clicking right there, taking that gamma value down a little bit, and now switch to the red channel, that gamma value is still selected for me, so I'll go ahead and increase it a little bit. I'll switch back over to the RGB composite, take that down, go ahead and take up the blacks, just say, nope, don't wanna click with the rectangle tool. Go ahead and press Shift F to switch to the full screen mode, and this is the before, and this is the after, with that wow. much work. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.